Now let's look at a slightly more complicated example of dealing with similar triangles. First off, even though it's not really required in this problem, you do at least want to think about why the two triangles that you see in the picture are congruent to each other. Well, the reason is they both have a 90 degree angle that's indicated in the diagram, and they both share angle A. So that means in the two triangles, they have two angles that are the same. Well, since triangles only have three angles and two of them are the same, that means the third angle has to be the same since the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So since all the angles in these two triangles are the same, that means the two triangles are similar. Now, the basic idea of how to work with these slightly more complex diagrams is to visualize, or better yet, actually draw the two triangles that you know are similar. Now I can't draw very well on the computer. A rough sketch will work. So the small triangle to the left we see has sides uh, three and nine, and the large triangle that encompasses the entire diagram has x. And the key here is that you add nine plus six to get 15. And no matter what the diagrams look like, uh, the key is to draw the triangle separately, add or subtract as necessary uh, so that you see what all of the sides are. So the most common mistake in this sort of problem is uh, using this number six somewhere. Well, the number six isn't gonna show up in our equation. We had to add nine plus six to get that this side was 15. Once you have the triangles drawn separately, or at least visualize them, uh, you write down a, uh, a proportion equation so x goes with 3, x over 3, uh, 15 goes with 9, 15 over 9. And uh, you could cross multiply if you want to, uh, but really all you have to do, I don't really like the phrase cross multiply, um, all you have to do is multiply by 3 on both sides. So the 3's cancel on the left and then on the right hand side, well, the three also cancels. So this three cancels with the nine, leaving a three. So we have 15 divided by three on the right hand side. So X equals five. So if we did the problem correctly, X equals five, we checked our answer and yeah, we got it right. Hope this video helped.